So I'm going to play with this 360 a little bit here. I'm having trouble. I can't get it to pull enough fuel. And I believe I just need to make a minor adjustment to the metering method. So that's just what I'm getting ready to do here. So I'm pulling this off. And I see an issue. Can you see it? A tar-like substance. Maybe that's why I went lean. That would explain things, wouldn't it? Pull this uh, metering plate off. Let me see if you can see this. You see it? Looks like tar. I have told, pulled this carburetor apart and cleaned it multiple times, rebuilt it, replaced all the gaskets, and the gaskets need replaced again. I'm already looking at another rebuild. Already. But just after a few minutes of runtime, that tarry stuff is on the needle. So what do you think? You think we're pulling something from the gas tank? Here it is on the diaphragm. And this buildup is just from like five minutes of running. See it? And it's real sticky. Super sticky. Almost like glue. Pull the other side of the carb off. Can you see it? We're still getting stuff up into the carb. Screen looks awful. This is what I just from pulling the screen, that's what I pulled out. Just from digging the screen out. Let me line everything up here and then I'll give you a good close up shot. There's what the uh, inside of the carburetor looks like. Just a few minutes of running. Would we get two cuts and it wouldn't lean and shut off on me? There's what that looks like. There's the metering plate. There's the diaphragm. Take a look in there. You got some in there. Let me get, get you in here to the screen. Let me zoom that in. And that screen was actually completely covered. I had to pluck it out, you know.
So, I'm going to say this carb rebuild kit's shot. I'm going to have to do it again. We're looking at a whole another carb rebuild for a third time. Or second time. Yeah, second time. I, uh, I rebuilt it once. Ran into issues. Pulled it apart, cleaned it up, put a new fuel filter in. And this is maybe five, maybe ten minutes worth of runtime, and this is what we're looking at. The only way this would happen is if something's coming from the fuel tank itself. So we definitely have something going on inside the fuel tank. It's full of gas right now. So, we're just going to have to drain it, and we'll have to put the first fuel tank cleaning session on the channel. We'll have to get in whatever's in there, we got to get it out. And basically start with some scratch on this carb. I was thinking I just need to make a metering lever adjustment, and that's obviously not true. So... I know it's frustrating, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? It is what it is, guys, you know? Get frustrating sometimes, but I mean it's pretty obvious. I should just clean the tank. Yeah. Let's do something here. Let's pull the fuel filter out and see what it looks like. Let me see if I can hook it with these pliers. Yeah, we definitely got something going on in the tank. Let me give you another close up. You see, there's debris there all over the fuel line. There's something inside the tank we gotta get out. We'll just have to do a bunch of cleaning and flushing. I have chemicals that should clean it right up, so it shouldn't be too bad. It can be frustrating. This might be the one saw that gave me the most frustration. Last time I thought I just needed to do the fuel filter, but it's obvious it's coming from the tank as well. This is the worst one I've ever seen, by far. No comparison at all, not even close. I don't have any rebuild kits here, so I'm gonna have to order one, but we'll see. Alrighty, thanks, later.